how to create mystery box in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a mystery box into your Shopify store and products. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com, sign in into your account, boom, here we have it. So the second thing is to make sure that you have created a lot of products and the most convenient one here is to set up your mystery, mystery box. Then we are going to set up here the, uh, right there. I'm going to put here the, the question marks. So then we are going to upload the media right there. Make sure that you have created a uh, box or a mystery box right there from here i'm going to search for an image then we are going to add it so we have now a picture of a box or a um here a mystery box so we are going to put here for example the price of it then you are going to set up here the quantity and etc for example here we are going to add this click on save boom here we have it this is the mystery box. Now we are going to head over the uh, Shopify app store. You can go ahead and head over it uh, by clicking on the search bar, then type in PLS, PLS, then search for it on the app store. So once you have typed PLS, we are going to see this app. We are going to install it. Then we are going to create the um, here, the mystery box. So once you are here on the PLS or pack insert samples a dashboard we're going to here see the products you can go ahead and see here the products that are on your store and uh, packaging we have packaging we have the rules which is uh, the creation of our mystery box here steps we have calculations and billing for checking up the plans so we are going to click on create rule here is the rule name we are going to put here mystery box so here we are going to run or enable the AB uh, testing because we are going to put one product from each collection. So for the start date, you can go ahead and set up a start and end date. Now for every order, so we are going to order contained a specific product, for example. I am going to search the order here, as you can see, the rule type we're going to put here the uh, product to add to order here we have it we are going to set up the mystery box uh, add if any rule are met so here we are going to put here orders we are going to search the product here we are going to put for example bundle then we are going to add for example another product uh, to add order so so as you can see here we have made uh, three products we are going to choose here the quantity of the product one and one and one for example here we are going to put here three products we're going to name on uh, the products this is the first product the second product and the third product so for the test group here percentage we're going to put here maybe 33 for each one I'm going to put here 33 for each one and then we are going to put it like that so this is the trigger and everything is set so whenever a person going to here um, make an order for the mystery box here the shuffle will be added from uh, the three products a three for three percent of the collections you are going to put up a collection and then for the collection you are going to put them away so that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I'll see you soon on the next one.